after Christmas munchkins and welcome on in to an unboxing video today. Hello for those of you who've been wondering where I've been and why I am chuckling about that. I have taken a break for a while but I am here again with you now in a very recently filmed video which should go up on the channel the next day. Yeah, it's kind of a short notice. I wanted to show and share with you guys something that got sent to us here at Munchie's Place. You guys are aware, if you've been on the channel for about two years now, or maybe have recently watched the video, I was sent some mail from Hamster Mail, which is a subscription service in the United Kingdom that ships to around the world, so check out their website. And they sent me this for us to be unboxing on camera today. I was sent this package very very late. It got stuck at the, I want to say it's the border between the United Kingdoms and the United States. It's like an island where it got stuck over there for a while and it was supposed to have been sent out the first week of December. I didn't receive it until yesterday, which is uh, the 26th, so <laughs> it's been a while. 2020, man. But anyways, they asked me if I wanted to do a little video again or just kind of a little unboxing because back in the day, Chunky Chip reviewed their first hamster mail service and I really did like the quality items in the subscription box. So they sent me another hamster box, but it's supposed to be Christmas themed. Woo! Oh, this is actually kind of fun. Oh my gosh, was this in this last time? This is kind of cool. <laughs> and also I want to give a little shout out to the person who contacted me. Thank you so much for reaching out. I know it's been hectic this 2020 and it was just such a nice little thing to see in the email pop up saying, hey Munchie, how you doing? Would you like to take a look at our Christmas box? And so we're gonna be doing that today. Ooh, more. Okay, we gotta go. Yay! Oh, that's that that was clumped together. Oh my gosh, I just sprinkled it all over. Yes, let's just get it all over my computer table. Look at this. Whoa! Um, anyways, here is what the package looks like. And it is very nicely packaged. I like that. And it says right here, hamster mail to a very special hamster. Send hamstermail.com. I'm gonna be opening it in front of you guys, presenting like this, and then I'll be letting my little hamster boy test it out. So here we go. Da -da 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 -da. Ooh, little card we get to read. Merry Christmas from Hamster Mail. Ooh. A message from the Hamster Mail team to our very Special customers, first we want to wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. The end of the year is the perfect time to reflect and what a year 2020 has been. The whole world has had to overcome many challenges and difficulties. Many small businesses have been affected and we feel so incredibly lucky that we have been able to continue creating these special boxes for a very deserving furry friend. We have all of you to thank for that, so thank you so much for your continued support. We hope that both you and your hamster enjoy your Christmas box of festive goodies. We can't wait to see your furry friend with their box, so please be sure to tag us at at sunhamstermail in your social media posts. Seeing the goodies being enjoyed is truly the best part for us. Finally, we hope you and your hamster have a lovely festive holiday. Until next time, sending lots of hamster love, the Hamster Mail Team X. That's what the card looks like here. Whoop. So right here, the box ingredients say rosewood, wood, and loofah tree, healthy hopper Santa's grotto, rosewood, carrot, and elderberry trees, healthy hopper, very merry popcorn. Oh my gosh, I love popcorn. And then it says right here, carefully cut around the template and use as a prop to take the perfect Christmas picture of your hamster, which is so funny because it's set up like an Instagram post. Charity of the Month, Hamster Society Singapore. Woo, let's listen to this right here. Each SS are a nonprofit society based in Singapore. They started out in 2019, which is last year. For those of you who can't remember last year, because 2020 has blocked out that memory. As a group of animal lovers who recognized that there were hamsters that needed their help. Now they work together as a network to shelter unwanted and neglected hamsters and find new forever homes for them. HSS also work incredibly hard to increase awareness of proper hamster husbandry and have created a fantastic website at hamstersociety.sg and blog filled with lots of educational information and guidance. We want to say a big 
well done to Hamster Society Singapore for all of their great work and have sent a P.O. box of festive treats and toys to them for the hamsters they have in care this Christmas. If you want to find out more, visit their website noted above or alternatively follow them on their Instagram account at hamstersociety.sg and Facebook page Hamster Society. SG. All right, so that is wonderful that there is hamster rescues popping up everywhere. I appreciate that. As you guys are probably aware, even at Munchie's Place for Homeless Pets, here in Washington State, we started out in 2018. And we actually have been fostering cats since 2016, where it all kind of started. So it's so cool to see that new rescues around here are popping up and around the world and in Singapore, for goodness sake. So that's wonderful. Let's get to it because my voice is about to die because I am talking like this. <laughs> so da 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 Alright, so here we go. We're gonna start off with some naturals, carrot and elderberry trees right there, which is actually looking scrub diddlyumptious. Da, da. <laughs> but I love how there is themed Christmas items because here in the United States there's actually not a lot of themed items. PetSmart is like the only place around here that actually does themed items, but they don't do them as well. So it's nice to see companies overseas are actually doing this and they're doing it correctly with some very natural treats for them that are in the shape of a Christmas tree. Next, we have Santa's Grotto, which is actually a coconut husk here. And it's a coconut shell filled with apple leaves, hazelnut leaves, hickeybiss flowers, and marigold flowers. And it actually says it contains crude protein 19%, crude fiber 12%, crude fats and oils 2%, and crude ash 12%. Feeding guide, oh wow. I didn't actually realize that this is kind of like a hide or better yet, just kind of like a feeding trough for your hamster, <laughs> which is so interesting. And it is seasonal, it says. A complimentary feed for your hamsters. So yeah, this has a bunch of stuff that they could eat in here that they would naturally be finding in the wild. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, there's the hat. Oh my gosh, the little complimentary hat stuck to the Christmas tree. This is adorable. Oh my gosh, and there's a heart. I know it should probably be star themed because that's usually what happens at the very top of the Christmas tree, but it's a heart themed. But it's still so adorable, look at this. You just stick it inside your cage and it'll be propped up. Probably your hamster, if it's big enough, will knock it over. But ooh, I can't wait to put this in here. It says Cupid and Comet, four small animals, wood and loofah tree. Oh, I love that. Look how really cool the packaging is. Besides, the tree right here. Pretty nifty. All right, and last but not least, we have the Healthy Hopper Very Merry Popcorn. Oh my God, I love the picture on this. This is so adorable. Look at this. Ah, ah. I love popcorn. I love movies. I am so distraught that the movie theater business is suffering right now. I want to get back and watch a movie in the theaters so badly. Popcorn and movies is just kind of my life and I love that so much. So I get to share with my hamster and his life. So hopefully he likes this. We're gonna be trying them out today. And of course, and I don't know how I'm gonna be able to put, put this on my hamster, but we shall see. It says, Hamster Mail Novelty Santa Hat. This is not a toy. Use only as photograph prop. Don't leave with your hamster unsupervised. Just because this material, they will chew up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Stick it on. I mean, maybe for a dwarf, because dwarf hamsters don't really move that much. But oh my gosh, how am I gonna put it on Carlos? I don't think I can. I kind of wish I had like a little loose strap. I could, but I know I'm probably not gonna be able to. But we'll see if he will settle for this. Now let's go show Carlos all these really cool and awesome treats. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is actually Crackle, my two and a half, almost three year old hamster. Carlos did not want to come out and protested me. So you actually are getting my little cute boy. Oh my gosh, are you actually going over towards the tree? Are you actually going towards the tree? Oh, you're so sweet, my dear. Look at my sweet little boy. Here, right here. Would you like that? Oh, there he goes. He's like, yes, I appreciate this. I appreciate this so much. Although I'm very much confused. Do you like the smell of that? <laughs> oh.
Oh, look at you. No. No. All right, well, you stuff it in your mouth then. <laughs> Are you going to try stuffing that one? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Crackle! I can't believe you took all three of those. You want that one too? I don't think you can stuff it in your mouth, man. Are you going to take it with you? Okay. Alright, there he goes. He's like, I am on a mission. I would like to take it somewhere. <laughs> oh, my boy. All right, all right. You're like, I want to go home with this big Christmas tree in my mouth. Here we go, Mommy. I'm going to throw it off the side <laughs> of the chair, and it will be mine. Yeah, there you go. Good boy. Look at you. Ladies and gentlemen, my two and a half year old hammy named Crackle. <laughs> good boy. Who's a good boy? You're a good boy. I love you, boy. All right, this right here is Pearl. And if my camera will focus, this little lady is our hamster raised and born at the rescue. She was actually very hormonal aggressive and now she's completely fine. So I could actually hold her and handle her. And she's actually slowed down quite a bit. So I decided to give her a nice Christmas treat. And apparently she is going for the salad bar. Good job, Pearl. Good job. Oh, you like the Christmas tree. Yeah, just kind of give it a little nibble for good luck, right? All right. No, 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 Pearl. Over here. No, 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 Pearl. Pearl. Get your little cute fluffy butt back here, my dear. Nope, you just want to take out the Christmas tree? But what about the puffs? Oh, the puffs. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You're like, I am ready to go. Not even going to pock it in my mouth. We are leaving with it. Just one, apparently. Oh, nope. She heard me. She's like, oh, wait, there's more. What about Christmas tree? Oh, no. She has discovered the Christmas tree. And now she must leave with it. Apparently the treats are a very huge, um, huge thing. Everybody likes the treats. Everybody wants the treats. Everybody, everybody doesn't know what to do with them. My dear, would you like some help? She's like, I don't know where to go, but I want to take it. It's going to go. I just don't know where. All right. Well, they're a huge success with the ham hams. Thank you, Hamster Mail. Thank you so much. You've made hamsters like Pearl here, who are actually available for adoption at the rescue, hopefully give her some enrichment, some good times. And yeah, no, let's not go over there. Let's not go over here, my dear. Let's go back to your home now. But thank you again, Hamster Mail. So thank you so much again to Hamster Mail for sending out some mail. I absolutely enjoyed it. It looks like all the items were basically used by the hamsters that were shown in the video today, including Crackle and Pearl. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Make sure to check out Hamster Mail if you're very interested in possibly their subscription service. I will leave links down below in the description of their services, as well as the rescue that was featured at Hamster Mail. So thank you guys so much. and. And again, if you liked the video, hit like to show support, comment down below with anything you like to say that's relevant, and subscribe if you're new here and would like to become a part of the Munchkin family. <laughs> Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!